Static cupping is the most widely used variation of dry cupping. This is where the cups are applied to the skin as a group, and it's the collective vacuum force of those cups pulling in different directions that acts on the superficial fascia and can release that restricted tissue. The amount of time that we leave the cups on will depend on severity of marking, the skin reaction, and the client's feedback. This technique is most effectively used on areas that are difficult to apply a compression force on, where there are superficial bones such as ribs, scapula, and the IT band. So we're going to go with a moderate vacuum, which is two pumps. And we're going to apply on the erector spinae. We're going to go just lateral to the spine, just above the PSIS, making sure that we're right into the muscle belly of the erector spinae. Then we're going to go thumbs width apart. Again, just lateral to the spine, superior to the first cup. And then we're going to work our way up. We do want to move quite swiftly, just depending on how these markings are looking. We want to try and get all these cups on as close together time-wise as we can. Another great thing about the cups is that we can apply superficially to the spinous processes as well, which is a unique application of the cups. Obviously, we can't apply any compression force down into those spinous processes. And we have got soft tissue structures there, um, such as the interspinous ligament. So we can see some colouring now coming into the cups. Okay, and the degree of that coloration there uh, would probably be a good idea to start to remove those quite swiftly. So to remove them, we just release the stopper, remove the pressure, and you can see the stretch effect that the vacuum force in the cup had by the release of the tissues as we remove the cups.